Hello and welcome to this demo of EMC Storage Analytics version 3.0 with EMC Extreme.io integration demo. ESA is an adapter that is integrating into vRealize Operation Manager, also known as VMware VCOps, and basically giving you the option to view every EMC array performance and capacity information directly from the vRealize Operation Management Console itself. So the first thing to do is to install the adapter itself. That's very simple. You just go to the Home Solution tab under the Realize Operation Manager. You press the plus sign and you browse for the pack, which is the driver pack that basically supports all the EMC products. It's one generic pack file for all the arrays. Once that is done, you open and you upload the solution, and that's about it. The next part is to actually configure the array that you want a vRealize operation to gather to collect information from. So once it's been installed, you just overrun it and press this icon, the configure one, and you add the arrays that you want to. For example, let's assume that I want to add a new extreme IO array. I'm just selecting the one from here. I'm giving it the license file, the management IP of the XMS, the credentials, and that's about it. And once that is done, I will now be able to view extremely specific information. It will take some time for vRealize to gather the information from the array, so normally you need to leave it for a couple of minutes to see the first uh, numbers come through. So as you can see, there are tabs for many, many other products here. What we're going to do is just select the specifically the extreme IO one, go to the EMC under dashboard array, and we'll start with the extreme IO overview tab itself. As you can see, I've already configured two extreme IO arrays, so what we'll be able to see in the first tab is the data reduction tab, so we will be able to see, for example, what is the deduplication ratio and the compression rate ratio for one of the experts here, and we will all be able to see the same amount of information for the other expert that has been configured here. Under cluster efficiency tab, we will be able to see more detailed information such as think provisioning savings for both of the arrays that have been configured and the total efficiency that include compression, dedupe, and think provisioning. Under the volume tab, we will be able to view more information such as the total capacity that has been consumed and consumed capacity in gigabyte per the data stores that have been configured here. So as you can see, if I hover on this specific data store, I'll be able to see that 261 gigabyte has been consumed. And indeed, if I actually go to the XML management console and hover on the specific data store, I can see that that amount of capacity has been actually consumed. So again, just giving you the ability to view information that otherwise you will use the XMS GUI to, to view the information from. The snapshot tab will also allow me to view snapshot capacity and total capacity that has been consumed on the array itself. So in this case, I only have uh, the source array configured with one snapshot, which is this one. So you can now see that there is one snapshot using the vRealize operation suite directly from here. Under the cluster tab, I'm able to see what is the total physical capacity of each array. It's a single 10 terabyte brick, so every uh, X brick with a 10 terabyte row is equivalent to 7.587 TIB net usable capacity, so that's exactly what we see from here. And I'm also able to see how much physical capacity is available on each one of these X bricks. So let's go for 73. Let's just uh, compare this with the real results. That's exactly the number that we see that is available right now. So that is good. Um, other tabs that are available in this uh, specific version as well, apart from the logical capacity. You can also see consume logical capacity on the array itself, which is of course different from the physical one. Every extreme array is um, much more space to accommodate logical capacity considering the dupe compression and think provisioning. The other tab is the extreme IO metrics tab. So you can actually see the correlation between the whole systems to the virtual machines to the specific data store that these reside on. And then, of course, you can open some more detailed information from here uh, using the Extreme IO array. And that's, that's really the beauty of vRealize operation, the ability to do correlation between all of these information. For example, I can walk through this specific volume that uh, is available on the Extreme IO array, 30x minus DS7. 
and open some other parameters here so I can be able to see things like performance uh, considering average block size. There are many many other parameters that you can of course select as well like the latency for this specific volume etc etc. The next tab is the Extreme IO uh, performance tab which allows you to be able to view uh, almost in real time the information from the storage controllers, how busy they are in terms of CPU utilization. Uh, I have two Extreme IO arrays here and every array X brick has two controllers, each controller has two sockets and eight cores, so you are able to see all of this information from here. As you can see, those arrays are not uh, terribly busy right now. The next tab is the volume tab. I'm able to see divided per volume, the total I operation per volume. Right now you can see it's very low. I'm also able to see things like the total bandwidth per volume. Again, things that otherwise I would be able to see using the XMS GUI. The next one is uh, total latency per volume. Again, very useful, so you can able to see directly from here what's the latency and maybe to be able to determine what's the cause of this latency, like which application is causing the latency. Uh, unaligned in terms of how much of these data store are unaligned in terms of their block size and also the average block size when it comes to I.O. Um, on this specific one. So for example you can see that this one is a, an average block size of uh, 62 kilobytes. The other tab is the SSD one. This one is very useful as well. You can see in, uh, here what is the endurance of each one of these drives. As you can see all of them are uh, still having 1% endurance left. That's of course because of two facts. A, the fact that we have our own implementation of uh, RAID, which is Extreme uh, Data Protection RAID, XDP, and the fact that we also have enterprise MLC drives, which are, their endurance is much, much higher than consumer drives. And the other one is the disk utilization. You can actually see what is the disk utilization on each one of these uh, X bricks. Every shelf has 25 drives, so you are able to see it here directly from the VRealize GUI itself. And the last tab is the top N Extreme I.O. volumes. It will, this will show you the top 10 of many, many parameters uh, for this volume that reside on Extreme I.O. So you are able to see what is the utilization on these top 10 uh, drives, what are the top 10 uh, volumes that generating I.O. and what, what is the I.O. that's been generated on each one of them, the top 10 for capacity, the top 10 for latency, top 10 for write latency, this one was the read one, top 10 for block size and the top 10 write block size. Now those are just the built-in dashboards and of course you can create your own. That's the beauty of the realized operation. You can actually go ahead and select for many many parameters that are available there and create your own dashboard. But we think that this basic four will give really give you a good head start just by installing the pack itself and be able to view all of this information. So thank you very much and I hope that was educational.